In this video, we're going to focus on a specific viewer question where the issue was an on-click effect issue of the bar chart only shows a highlighted bar after mouse out in chart.js. So this was a viewer's question from Akila Ravi. So let me show you first here the uh, question where it was. So basically here was watching one of my videos and then his, and then after he had a question here and he, he he shared his entire story here and special thanks to him for sharing his story so here he says the following i have a query my requirement is to create a dynamic bar chart and on click of any bar the chart area of the selected bar should get highlighted with a different color i managed to highlight the chart area of the selected bar but the issue is chart area color gets changed only on click of the bar and pointer is moved away from the selected bar it is not happening directly on click so this was a story basically on this what he says here as well as i summarize it when you click on it it the area doesn't change the only the moment is when he click and move away from his map from from or when he mouse out from the bar at that moment, it suddenly changes in color. So let me show you exactly the issue here. And then after I'm going to show you the, the solution. All right, so I have a background set here and this is why everything is uh, dark. But if I click on this, you can see here right now and I mouse out, it changes color. Well, the background should basically be ignored. Well, let me remove this one for now, because this is sure this, this might give you a confusion. So we save this here, go back here. And then when you click on this, you can see nothing happens. But then if I move away, bam, there it is. And then if you click, sometimes it works. So it creates a certain, uh, or something is happening, but we cannot pinpoint exactly what. Uh, so if you click here on this, this now works, works. And then if I try to do a different sequence consistently, and I press here, sometimes it does, and sometimes it does not. So there's something happening. And most likely what is happening is, within chart.js the canvas sometimes it loads faster and sometimes it loads slower and depending on how fast or slow it loads it responds to refreshing basically or showing the effects all right so let's see if i can still get a other one if i sometimes click on different sequences it might show up and where right now it does not show up However, if we refresh, we will see it again. Oh, now it works again, and I cannot explain. This part I can explain, or basically there's something going on. I figured out the answer on this one, to be honest. When I started this code, I got the code, and he, he shared his code here, because I asked for a code pen to get, give me an example of it. And when you click on this, you will see the entire code here. It's basically, it's, it's, a, it's a big chunk of code and very complicated you see a lot of items when i started this i thought well this will be take this might take me a week or even longer so here's the same code here exactly everything here and the solution is far easier than what i thought but to get the solution i want to explain first how i figured it out plus why it happens because understanding the why is more more important than solving only the ants solving only the issue because then you can solve the issue in the future as well because you understand the structure all right, so to find this answer, I made a video the day before, which was here about how to highlight corresponding donut section on the legend Hoover in Chart.js. And this was from a Jaffer. Jaffer asked me this question. And one of these questions, it's somewhere in there, probably on the other one. This was specifically, and then eventually I replied to it. This is the entire question. And then we have to do part one and two to make it all complete. All right. So to understand what I did was basically he wanted this. So you can see here, you have this effect here, where we hover over on the legend and then it will highlight the matching color here. And when I make this one, this specific item, I made a tiny mistake in here, which I eventually solved as well because it was quite easy. Uh, but that, that mistake gave me the answer to Akila's answer. So what I did was the following. All right. Uh, I will duplicate the mistake here. This is on one of my other codes here. And if you want to have this code, you please check check out this video here. This one, because it's just this video here, how to highlight corresponding donuts section. But I'm going to show you just the issue. All right, so I'm going to remove this one. 
and then I'm going to remove this here, and this will give you the answer immediately. So if I remove this and save that, then I refresh here, and then look what happened. I hover over here, nothing happened, but then if I go here, it triggers. So at that moment, I realized that mouse uh, hover over, or mouse over and mouse out, does something with the chart that we want to have. And this was the issue with basically here. When we click on this, then let's see here if I can get the same response here. So basically what happens here, it just works now, and I, I can't even exp oh, All right, so now we get it again. So we get it, you can see it's, it's buggy in this case. And now if I move out, it jumps in here. So you can see here, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And that's not what we want. We want it always to work. You can see here. So what happens basically? When you are mouse over, something happens to the chart. It basically updates itself. Yes, and if you mouse out, it updates again because it, it has to hide the tooltip. And this answer here, this mistake here on here, where I figured out if I go on this here, you can see I hover over and then I hover over here, everything becomes black. All right, and refresh here, nothing happens, but then I click here or I just hover over and then you can see here, the ones I just hovered over, orange, yes, uh, let's get it blue, there you are. All right, so now back to the solution here. So how do we duplicate this solution? Or how do we create this solution? The solution is in the update, because what we want to do is we want to force an update. So in the beginning, I thought, all right, we have to do it somewhere here. And you can see this code is very complicated. There's a lot of things going behind the screen. Eventually, the solution is basically on the on click. What we want to do is, the moment we are on the click, we want to force to update the chart with the color that we expect. So that's basically here. We just get this one here. This is the the constant or variable. And then we say here dot update and that's it. Once we do this, we save that. Refresh. And now if I click on it, there you are. If I click on it, if I click on it, it keeps on working. Because of what happens now once it clicks, it updates including the color. Well well when you did without the update it might update or not, depending on the, I guess it's the rendering or something in the canvas, because it might be slower in loading, which it creates uh, like a delay or which creates the update because the rendering or the reloading of it is slower than the click calculation, something like that in, in, in the canvas. But that's why it's on the first one, when you had, when you had on the first one, it was fully loaded. It's, it's very fast and when you click on that it didn't respond until you move away so now you can see here this works nicely this is just a side note this is eventually not in charge.js3 this is from charge.js2.9 so i saw his thing so this is a quick side note here as well although i believe this command here it would be sufficient to put in here on the on click in the options as well so but this is basically your solution and i was not expecting it to be that that simple However, you are so close to the answer. So this is it. So I hope this is useful and you can test it as well if this is eventually the final answer you're looking for. Maybe you also have a question. You're looking at this and you say, well, I also have a question. I'm struggling with something specifically in chart yes. Just put them, put your question in the comment section below and I'll make sure I'll get back to you. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.